Hello, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the World Wide Web. How are you today? Hope all is good. I'm great. It's Saturday again. I'm in the studio again, Warsaw, Poland. And you know what? I'm actually going to a party tonight. But before that happens, I wanted to show you something. I wanted to do something for you and with you, maybe. Do you remember when last time I was whining a bit that face plant sounds digital, lifeless, and I didn't like the tone of it. It was too much VST, I would say. Yeah, and that actually made me think that I could show you some ways to make your VST more alive, more true, and more analog in its character. And that's what's gonna happen today. And that's gonna be also my private challenge to finally make a video shorter than 10 minutes. Let's go for it. And actually we're gonna do it a bit different today. It's gonna be less talk and more doing. Let's get into it. This is how our lifeless loop sounds like. Nothing too special, we really have to do something about it. I start with putting the main oscillator in unison mode. Then I engage the second oscillator, one active down, also in unison mode. Ha! Already better! I also add two random LFOs to make the main oscillator sound less stable. And there's actually nothing like real analog saturation, so I use the patch bay and send the signal to my acid box. I decide to go for double stage saturation, and this is my second saturation unit. I also cut excessive high and low frequencies. And I compress the thing, 1 to 8 ratio, very fast attack and release. Let's compare. Yeah, it's good. We can continue. Here comes the flat synth section. I started to waste factory cassette, tweaking some erasure, stability and dynamic noise. It's also a double stage saturation. Watch the output level so the thing is gain matched. Some basic EQing kicks in. And here comes the compression, again 1 to 8 ratio, very fast attack and release. Time to compare the results. Ah, we've went so far. Let's do something about the drums too. Basic EQing. Multiband saturation with two different algorithms. And compression, guess what? 8 to 1 ratio, very fast attack and release. It's good, let's go on. A tad of tweaking on Master Boss too. First let's go for some basic technical EQing. Then a gentle curve from my new favorite Pulsar Massive. Compression, same method as before. And as the last thing, my favorite limiter. Mm, okay, but does it really sound better? We have to compare it to the raw version. Thank you. 
that sums the things up, guys. Yeah, 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 and I know what you're gonna say after this madness. It's far, far away from perfect, and I know it, guys. It's not a ready production, it's not mixed, etc., etc. But you know what? I've always wanted to try myself out in this short form of a full tutorial. That's both very brief and in-depth. You can really dissect it, you can pause it, you can see what I'm doing there. And no, it's not five easy steps, it's pretty damn complicated, but it's all there for you step by step, guys. And I hope you liked it, and I hope you're gonna be back for more soon. Take care.